of suffering, of instability, of wars, to a new Sudan. That when I come to Khartou, and I come to Fijian Sudan, Aqib, that's a scenario. And whenever I go, I, one time I, I, I travel from Juba to Khartoum. Uzamili Aqib Zayi asked me, girl, I don't need to get, get to Sudan with him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story. I don't want to, I don't want to, 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 to mention his name, but he knows himself. Uzamili, girl, I need to get to Sudan with him. And I had just come from Juba. <laughs> That Sudan is unmaintainable. So that, that, that's one objective, uh, Mr. Haraka. I have conceptualized this in, in the form of Venn diagrams in, a, in, a, in, 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 in models. I'll show them shortly. That's one objective. If we can succeed in doing this, a complete overhaul, which Indian with Arabia can be a batal khalis, which we have an overhaul. I for Sudan, I am all over all. We are going to complete transformation. If this can be done, that would be best. However, if this cannot be done, the only way, of course, in which it can be done is for there to be uh, complete separation, constitutional separation of religion and the state. Because you cannot have a, a just Sudan within a theocratic uh, state. But in all the peace talks that we have held with the regime in Khartoum, the regime in Khartoum has consistently argued that Mahmoud, they cannot separate religion and the state. They say it is in the nature of their religion. I say fine. Then let us establish a Sudanese confederation as a form of unity where those who want is, uh, religion and state to be combined can have their state. And the rest of us who would want to respect religion that been separated from the state have another state. And still there will be free movement of people, goods and services within that kind of, uh, of arrangement. It's a realistic model that is short of the new Sudan, Mabel have a new Sudan, and that is short of independence for the component parts of the country. But it's a model that can end the war so that we can put our lives together and still work for the new Sudan or work for the uh, alternative outcome of independence for the component parts if a new Sudan is untenable. It's a realistic uh, model. We have been criticized for it by people who religiously worship a united Sudan. Why would I be interested in a united Sudan that discriminates me? No, it's not religion. Nobody would stay in a, in, in a situation that discriminates him or her. And so, the, the, the second objective of establishment of a Sudanese confederation is a necessity imposed by the intransigence of those who want to have their cake and eat it at the same time. They want the unity of the country and they want an Islamic state. These are mutually exclusive. You cannot have a united Sudan and an, 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 an Islamic constitution. They don't go together. The third objective is the exercise of the right of self-determination. The interim period, which is model two in my grand diagrams, is followed by an internationally supervised referendum on self-determination to choose between two options. <laughs> Continuation of the Confederate Union and its improvement, or two, full independence for the component parts of the country. Now that is also an option for at the end of the interim period people will decide whether this form of unity and we have presented all this in all our uh, 
in all our negotiations with the, with, with, with the government in Khartoum. We have said that you accept constitutional separation of religion and the state. If you don't accept this, then let us agree that we have fundamentally disagreed on this issue. So that we call this disagreement, we call it an agreement. Because you cannot base a political agreement on a disagreement. We've got to, we've got to find an agreement. And so on the issue of religion and the state, if we cannot separate the two, and respect the two, respect all uh, religions, then let us agree that we have fundamentally disagreed. It's, it's a simple thing. In the West, in the Western world here, it, it is called living together without getting married. <laughs> Uh, we propose, we, pre we propose not marriage, but living together. <laughs> the subject of negotiations then would be how to live together <laughs> in the, during the interim period. At the end of the interim period, we will decide whether to continue this form of union or, uh, or complete an effective divorce.